So, did you say you'd done as four lessons before? Um, so I had, yeah, five lessons, but I didn't really cover much yeah. at all in those. So. so, what did you do in those, do you remember? Um, so, I did pulling off, but I can't pull off smoothly at all still. Yeah. Um, and left turns, but not right turns. Yeah, that's um, what you do quite all. a bit. Um, did you do about hill starts, things like that? No. Like going up hill and do. downhill. Um, so, thinking back to what you did, what, what do you think you could do on your own without me helping you with? Um, I think <coughs> I could probably pull off, but not very smoothly yeah. at all. So, look at that, we'll go over the, the pulling off smooth. Do you know all the controls of the car? Because I know um, this car's probably different to the one you had. See, I know the pedals and. Do you know what car you had before, by the way? Um, it was a Toyota of some sort. I yeah. can't remember which one. It's small or big? Quite small, yeah. yeah. So same as all sizes, this then fits similar stuff. There are a few differences in this one. Um, you might have had a key before, like a key to turn the car on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this was. one's got a button, so there's no key in this one, it's all in with a button. Okay. Um, some of it's automatic as well, like the lights and the wipers and the heat are all automatic, so you don't need to do all those things. Um, it might rain today because it's been raining this morning, so if it does rain, the wipers come on themselves. Okay. But we'll go over that manually as well because you need to know how to do them on your own if, you do, if they don't come on for any reason. But normally they'll come on you know, when it starts raining. So, are there any controls you can see you're not familiar with? Because there might be differences in this car to the other one that you had. Um, it's all pretty much similar, but I think apart from similar. the cameras and the microphones. Yeah. That's <laughs> so, um, the main difference. Because there's like indicator and yep. this is quite a lot further forwards than yeah. the last. Um, yeah, it's all different because like, handbags are different in every car. Um, the one thing with the signals is a bit different. I'll show you in a moment when you turn on. If you tap them softly like that, they'll mm -hmm. just flash three times and then go off, which you may or may not have had in the other car because all cars have got their own features and you know, unique things. But if you want to get set up to begin with, like okay, moving so your seats around. Do you know which pedal you should be able to get down all the way? Um, the clutch. Yep, that's good. Yeah. So, I'll leave that up to you because if you did that before, you're probably okay with setting up anything, <coughs> anything yeah, you're not familiar with. Just uh, let me know. Okay. It's going to be warmer now, it's getting sunny. Yeah. It's getting raining, I thought it was going to be really dark for this video. But... Yep, if you need to adjust the seat, by the way, you can if you need to pump it down on the right, there's a lever which pumps it down. That's up to you. You might be okay as you are, okay. but um, it should all be pretty good. I don't know if I'm maybe a bit too close. Move back yeah. a little bit. <laughs> That's good. Oh, there we go. Around yeah. As long as your leg can be straight, but not fully straight, should be you know a little bit of a bend in your knee. But yeah, that's oh, good about okay. it. But then, so what else do you need to move <coughs> to, um, to set the car up? Um, I need to check the mirrors. Yeah, that's it. So the mirrors are up to you to do. Okay. <coughs> Just let me know where you can see out the middle mirror though. Oh, what's going on behind us now? Um, so there's. There's a blue car coming yep. and then That's it's good. turned away. That's it, if you can see that it's fine. Some people can't see like you might be able to see the bus, maybe not from where you are. Oh yeah, but, um, just about yeah. now, yeah. That's good. Um just for reference, because we haven't done this before, if ever you need to you can just hold that pulley around, it's up to you. Okay. Um but that's fine. The side mirrors, are they okay or do you need to move those? Um how do I know if they're okay or not? So you I should be able to see like two about two finger widths like that. So if you put your fingers like that, you should be able to see roughly that much of the car. As long as you can stop right, a thin oh, yeah. strip of the car, but mainly the pavement or the road, depending on which one you're looking in. Yeah, that's that's what um, I've got. Yeah, that's pretty good. For the future, if ever you need to move those, because you will for manoeuvres, things like that, the arrows by the door there, by the um, the door handle, they're the, uh, the ones you move all the mirrors with. Okay. There's one thing about filming, by the way, I've got to tell you, which is when you pull over, um, that funny sound, it's just a car, you know that. Um, when you pull over, you have to press the power button once. If you just tap it once now, without pressing any pedals, if you just press that button there once. This, this one? That's it. What I do is it turns the electrics on. Because okay. if you don't turn them on after 10 minutes, the cameras go off. And then it's, you, you won't be filming. So whenever you pull over, normally you won't have to do that. But whenever you pull over and we're going to be there for more than 10 minutes, which I'll let you know about, you just press the button once and I'll turn all the cameras on and keep them on. Okay. Otherwise you go back home and it's all blank. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's wasted time. Too wasted, yeah. Yeah, I've done that before when I was first had them. Okay, so do you know um, the seat's good, the mirrors are good. The doors are quite obvious, but do you know how you can tell if the doors are shut? There's an easy way of doing this. Um, no, I'm not sure actually. So if you press that button there, that locks the doors. That's it. Um, why is it a good idea to have your doors locked anyway? Um, maybe in case people try and open yeah, them? Yeah, that's it. There are some areas where, yeah, I won't name them, but there are some where people will try and get in the car and people run up and try and pull the door open. I've had it twice over the years, it's rare, but it does happen. Um, 
Also, if, that, if they're not locked, but they were, if it's not that and you press that, then it will unlock. So you okay. can sort of tell by the sound. It's pretty obvious now, but you can drive the door partly open and you go around the corner and it flies open, which isn't good. So I'll <laughs> press that again now. Okay, so um, seat's good, the mirror's good, the doors are good, that's still good. Um, so the way you turn this car on is a little bit different to the one you had before because with the button it, it's not much different but a bit different because you haven't got a key to turn. Do you know the two checks you need to do before you turn on? Um, I know you've probably done this before but I just want to check you know all this. So you look in the blind spot? No, no one else. Oh, when you move your seat, what you need to do two things before you can turn on the two controls you have to check because otherwise you might stall straight away. Um, I'm not sure. Sorry. So if you don't know this doesn't matter, I've just got to check what you did before because it's harder when you teach one who's had a few before. So I've got to kind yeah. of guess what, what you did and what you didn't do. So you check the handbags on, which it is, because it's right up. Okay. Then you check the nine gear. So I left that one in, in one. Right. It's actually in third one, it's leaving one. Um, do you know any idea why you leave your car parked in gear normally? Because normally you're all supposed to leave it parked in the gear. But what was that? Um, I have no idea, I thought you had to put it back in neutral. Yeah, so a lot of people do neutral, but the problem is if your handbag fails, what's going to happen then? If you're in neutral and your handbag comes off. We roll Yeah, your car's there. gone, that's it. So <laughs> it could be that you get out quick or you know, you're, you're on the phone, you know, not when you're driving, but when you get out of the car, you're on the phone. If you go like that, it's kind of on, it'll hold for a few seconds or so, and then your car goes flying down the road. So if you leave it in gear, like that, if your handbag should fail, then you won't roll anywhere. So it looks uh, okay. So especially if you live on a hill, if you park your car on a hill, it's good towards being in, leaving one. But you can't turn on one, otherwise you'll stall straight away. Okay. So you also check the handbags on and the gears in neutral. Now just so you now you probably know this, but I've got to tell you, I have got dual controls on this side of the car. Okay. Um, when I press mine, yours will vanish. See how you're braking, your clutch go down. Yeah. So if ever you can't find your pedals, I've probably done them. I'll try and tell you that, I'll always say I'm doing the pedals, but I don't always have time if it's an emergency. Um, I won't have time to say. Well, so, hammock's on. How can you tell it's in neutral as well as just looking? Um, is it if it's if you can like sort of wobble it yeah, then it's it. in neutral? Just try that now because it's different in every car. That's it. Just okay. so you get a feel for the car. This first lesson really am is just to get used to me in the car and get, sort of find out what you can do, what you need to know, okay. and what you need to work on. Right, so if you want to turn on, all you do for this car, you've got to hold your clutch fully down all the way and then you tap the button once. That's it. If at any point you need to turn it off, it's going to put it on cool because it's a bit warm. Um, if you ever need to turn the car off, you just press the button without the clutch being down. It can be up or down, doesn't matter. Okay. But unless it's down, it won't turn on. That's the safety measure. So if you have the clutch up, you turn on in gear, what would happen then? You might have done that before when you the car. If I have the clutch, so if you had it in first gear mm -hmm. and you left the clutch up and it was turned off and you turned the engine on and it was in gear, what would happen then? I'm not very sure. So your car was all jump forwards or fly forwards or stall. Okay. So having your clutch down is a good way of turning on because if you are accidentally in gear like that, you won't stall. Okay. Because you, you, you know, with your clutch down, you're not effectively in gear. So I just wanted to check a few of those things, but the rest I want to see what you can do. So with the moving off, do you think you can do all that on your own? Um, I. I've not done it on a hill. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So we have a go on a hill. How is this going to be different to doing it on a flat? Because it's very similar. But... Um, do, are you going to have to push? You're going to have to as soon as you you're going to roll backwards, aren't you? If yep. you don't press the um, the the power quick enough. Yeah, the power. But what else? What actually gives you the power? Because the gas provides the power. But what is it that connects the power? because that's the main thing you've got to think about on hills. The clutch? Yep, so what is the clutch? So there's a lot of questions to that, by the way. <laughs> there's a lot of find out what you know. <laughs> but what is the clutch and what does it do? Um, it's sort of like if the wheels are turning and then you want to change gear, it's like it cuts it off and yep, then that's it. it starts it again. Yep. You might have seen a picture of the two plates coming apart like that. If you haven't, I'll draw that in, but it's like a picture you get two plates. Have you seen that? No, no. no. I'll draw that in. Your clutch, by the way, can come up now if you want. Oh, okay, so it's okay. just to turn on, you have to have it down. But yeah, so if I draw this flat, and anyone watching this should be able to see, because I've, I've set the cameras up so you can see my lap as you were. So if you get a clutch up about there, and a clutch down about there, um, do you know about the biting point? Yes. Um, what, what's that? So you, you lift your foot off the clutch and it kind of sort of um, yep. shakes a bit. That's it. So that's when the two plates, there's like, a, it's like a metal rod, two metal rods, 
think of like two hands. So there's one hand over there, one hand over there. So when you clutch it down, the two hands are apart, well, like the two parts of the engine are apart. Okay. So the one on the left is your engine. It doesn't actually look anything like this at all, but it's just the way of thinking about it. It's, in real life, it's like a horse, you can't shake thing. But you got the engine over there, the tyres over there. So when you clutch it down, the engine and the tyres aren't together, so nothing's going to really work. When you clutch it up all the way, the two plates, two hands, whatever you want to call them, you might have heard of clutch plates, maybe. No. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, it doesn't matter if you're doing any of this, but if you hear about clutch plates, this is what the clutch plates are. So like two plates come together, so when it's up, you clutch, the plates are locking and gripping, the engine turns the tyres off, you go. When the clutch is down, the engine and the tyres are apart, nothing works, or well, nothing will make you move. Okay. Um, so the biting point you mentioned before is where the two plates start to rub, start to kind of grip together. Um, let's piece down a bit because we were all didn't expect to have the windows down today. Yeah, sorry, so nice, <laughs> when um when you're moving off, where is the biting point roughly? Like how far up is it? Um, if you imagine it's your foot down, that's your foot up on the clutch. How oh. far would it normally be up before um, you feel the pull? Kind of in the middle somewhere. Yeah, that's it. It's different in every car. This one, it's a little bit lower than the middle. It's about there. It's just below the middle. Um, and it's about six to pound coin. Do you know if you had a, a petrol or a diesel before? It doesn't really matter which one. I'm not entirely sure, sorry. No, it was probably, I'm guessing it's the petrol, because most of those are petrols, the little tighters, but it could be either. Um, the things in the diesel, like this one being the diesel, it's a little bit easier to find the biting point, because in the petrol it's just a little bit thinner. Um, so it's, it's not the petrols are bad, they're not bad, but they're just kind of harder to find the biting point. So you might notice if you drive a petrol, it does feel quite different to begin with. Um, some cars don't feel much different, some do but you know, petrols are generally a little bit harder to find the biting point. So the first thing you've got to do to move off on the hill, which demonstrates this, I'll go clutch down into one. Now normally on the flat, where would you have the clutch? Like how high on the biting point would it be? If you're, if you're what, sorry? If you're so if you're, if you're on a flat road, so there's no hills, just like a totally flat road, um, which point on there would you need your clutch to be at? You're able to move off. If you haven't done Some, this before, somewhere around, no, yeah, that's it, so it's very low, so it's right on the bottom of the biting point, okay. so you want your clutch as low as you can, so on a flat road, you don't need much power because you're not going to roll back, so you could have your clutch, well, have a bus to go, you can't sort of hit the engine with the bus, so when your clutch is about there, that oh. would be okay for a flat road, so okay. you feel it pulling, but on an uphill, what would you do differently to get more power? Um, would you put your foot off the clutch a bit more. Yeah, that's it. So when I say clutch up, up he's like, you know, when it sounds obviously up, he's kind of up. Because some people call more clutch down, but that's less clutch. Right. So less clutch is down, more clutch is up. So the clutch comes up more like that. So instead of feeling like that, it feels like that. Okay. So you get the growl, it sort of pulls. If you watch the bonnet now, when the bonnet's sort of level about there, yeah. when I lift the clutch higher, you go from there to there. Oh yes, I And not much like a sort of change. So on the flat, ideally you would start on the flat road, but further on when we pulled up there was a bus, so I couldn't start there. So the only difference is, compared to what you did before, that would be a flat, and you do the same as you normally do. On another pill, you start with the clutch a little bit higher, about there. And when you go, you don't have to lift your clutch much at all, you pause it for about two seconds, then lift it. Because you've got to give time for the hill to, the car to, to take effect with the hill. Anyway, let's give that a go. It is quite hard moving off from the hill for the first time, but you've got to do some time anyway, so you might as well try now. So, um, do you want me to talk you through or do you want to do it on your own? Could you talk me through yep. it, sorry? That's it. So then when you swap instructors and cars, whatever, it's confusing, because you've got to kind of get used to different methods and techniques. They're all essentially the same, but they might sound different because we all teach different ways. So you go, clutch down all the way. Okay, yep. Over into first gear. And then you do a little bit of gas because you might know from before you need gas before the clutch. If you do the clutch on its own, it does work but not so well. Okay. So that's good. But even at one point, do you know about the rev counter? Um, no, sorry. So the rev counter is that one on the left, it goes one to six. Okay. Um, so how many revs do you think you need when you move off? Like that's like the power, how much power would you need? So on here, maybe quite a lot if we're on a hill. Um, yeah, so a bit more, but how much is that? Maybe a three. So three would be way too much, so three would be oh, way too okay. much. <laughs> yeah, so you only have one point, so you know it's on about one now, we'll call that one, it's on like zero point eight, whatever we'll call that one. So you need about 1.5-ish, roughly. Um, so you don't need much at all. So if you rev the gas there, you just say it revs to about one and a half. But it doesn't have to be about 1.3 anywhere around there. But even that, whatever that is, 
that's good because we are going to kind of lean a bit yeah that's good on yeah. 1.5 so now try and lift the clutch up just so you feel that pull like a slight pull like I mentioned it's about a third of the way up roughly that's, that's good that drone that's it that's good so that will be a flat road now try and lift it one millimetre higher the clutch that's it, so it growls, kind of groans and drones, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Okay, so where would you have to look before you go? Um, so um, look, I look in the mirrors yep. and I look in the blind yep, spots as good. well. And you need to see them or not? Um, yes, I do. Why is that? So that they know I'm going to start driving? Yep. Who's they? The cars behind that's me. That's it, that's good. So if no one's there, like when that van's gone, you don't have to. But if you want it, you can, doesn't matter if I know. Okay. But you don't have to if no one's around. Okay, so we'll sit not just for so this side. Right, this that's, is up. That's good. And then what do you do now? Um, I'm going to push a little bit more on the gas oh. and pull off the... That's it. What do you need to be for that though? Because otherwise you won't move. Oh, I need, <laughs> I need to um, put the hand brake down. That's good. Oh. So how about doing? I'll explain that stick. That's good. That's fine. Oh, sorry. That's good. So the signal fast. comes off. For the moment, we're not really bothered about little things here and there that go wrong, you know, we're just kind of working on the moving. Um, do you know how to brake and all that, or do you want me to do that um, You clutch down in the middle pedal. Yep, yeah, that's good. So just pull up somewhere, just anywhere around here. We're not bothered about movers and signal for now because there's no one around. So just clutch like so, that's good. Very like that's good, that's it. And then what do you do before your feet can come off? Um, you put, oh, okay, no, you don't put your clutch in neutral, you just handbrake. Yep, that's yep. good. So how that goes on, and then. Before that, what do you need before? Oh, sorry. What do you need um, before that comes up? I'm not, I'm not so sure. So neutral. So there's a handbrake on, back into neutral, and then you can lift your feet. Oh, sorry. That's um, it. Because if you do that, that's kind of trying to move off in one. So you're trying to sort of move off, you know, at the same time as pulling over. That's what we were saying earlier on about if you move, if you turn on in one, that's what happens. It stalls straight away. So the two checks we did before, handbrake is on, gears in neutral, but we can turn back on. Okay. Right, so if you want to just hold the clutch footy down, you can turn back on. That's it. Break it, I'm not too worried about for now because that comes in more next time. Because we've only got an hour today, normally we do two hours. Um, the break it, I'm not that bothered about. It's, you know, the brakes are quite firm as well because they're quite new brakes. So yeah. You don't have to do brake too much. This is, yeah, this is easier. I think. Yeah. Um, all cars feel different, so it will take a few lessons or a few hours to get used to this car. But by the end of the next one, you'll probably be more, be more used to it. Right, so. Um, that moving off is pretty good, but why was it moving with the handbrake on? Because you know the scar was moving before the handbrake had come off. Um, yeah, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure yeah. why I was like okay. That's one thing about diesel, because diesels are so strong at low speed, they'll pull really hard. So with the handbrake on, you can drag the car easily with the brakes on. Some petrols will do that as well, but diesels, they really drag. Because you know buses are all diesel, trains are all diesel, that's why, because they can drag big, big weights. So train, because you can't want train, do you? Um, that, yes. That's probably a diesel train you were on. Diesels can pull really heavy weights at low speed. So you can go into first gear like that and you can move off with a handbrake on, it'll just move down the road. But of course, that will work your handbrake. Um, <laughs> so, what was wrong with your clutch that made you move with a handbrake on? Because it was something to do with the clutch that made that happen. Um, was it. Oh, it was. Because the it was because I was my clutch was up a bit more. Yep, yeah, that's it. Now, not much, but how much is too much? Like between what's what's the difference between having it good and having it bad? The clutch. Um, when I'm doing my handbrake, should it be fully down the clutch? Or? It should be up a little bit, but like how much difference is it between right and wrong? Like is it like that? Is it a lot? Or is it a little bit more? Um, I'm if you don't know, it doesn't matter. It's just sure. a, if you watch my clutch there, if I go mm -hmm. clutch down to one, if you didn't know it at all now, that's it. Sense. When I do mine like that, if you watch my foot, you probably won't see this move at all. But that would be okay, whereas this is too high. My foot barely moved. So it's only like one millimetre at the most. You only have to move your foot a tiny bit for it to be too high. So it's pretty good. Um, you just got to get it about there. All it was is when you were looking around, your foot started to move up a little bit. So you've okay. got to make sure your foot stays dead still. It's hard at first because you've got to get used to different pedals and the way they feel in a different car. But yeah, that's no big problem for now. But anyway, let's give that another go. Okay. So now you said you want to see moving off on your own, but I've just got to check you know all these things because I know you haven't done uphill. So this is all, unfortunately, most of this road is uphill. Yeah. There's only a few flat parts. Okay. okay so, so um, clutch down. Yep, yeah, that's good. And then first gear. That's it. And now I want to do, now I check. Oh. What did you do before that's it? 
Tell me to do with your feet. What do you need to do? Um, now do I do the biting point and the Just before gas? that. Yeah, we'll gas so the other way around, so gas first, then the clutch. Because if you do the clutch, then the gas, you might stall before you've even you got a chance to do the gas. Okay. So it's, it's not always, but 99% of the time, nearly always gas, then clutch up. Okay. So you kind of set the power and then connect the power. You don't want to connect the power and then set it because you haven't, it's kind of backwards. Okay, so, okay, so it's either way you unlock a door and then walk through it. You will try and walk through it, then unlock it because yeah. you won't get through <laughs> it. I want to say a little bit of gas. Okay. And then now you've done that, now the clutch can come up a little bit. So you try to find a point where it pulls, but it doesn't actually move. Ooh, that's good, that's there. it there. Now I think it's trying to keep your left foot dead still, which is easier said than done. Okay. Okay, so the pedals are done, what's the next thing to do? Um, now I want to check the mirrors. Yep, that's it. Okay. And the yep. that's good. blind spot. So would anyone see a signal or is there any, oh, um, any point in doing that? There was no one behind no. us. So if you don't want any no point there, right? Okay. Um, so now hand brake. Yep, that's good. Hand. Zipping clutch really, really slowly up, the slower the better. Because you'll feel the power coming through. Yeah, okay. we'll feel different to be for a different engine, whatever. This is, um, that's good. This is much nicer than I've ever put. Obviously. Before. That's good, that's really sweet. That's as good as you can do it. I know it's slower, but then it would be eventually, but that's good. So, I'll pull it up. You can pull this up because you can do the braking. Okay. As long as you're not opposite the bus stop, as long as you're well before. So, Thank you. what's the first pedal you do? That's good. Clutch and then and brake. Then, that's it. And then before you lift your feet, what do you need to do? Um. Lift that. And what else? First, um, neutral. The hand that's brake, it, that's then good. neutral. That's it. That's good. Just make sure the hand brake's roll up as well, because it's not quite up. That's it. And, and that's neutral. Good. That's it. Why do you think it's good to do hand brake and neutral rather than neutral hand brake? Again, you don't, you don't have to, you can do that, but why is it better to do the hand brake first? Um, so you're, you sort of like secured your car so it's yeah. not going to roll anywhere? That's it. If I just show you one example on this one, okay. um, oh, you imagine if you pull over, it's got to check on their own. Um, so imagine you pull over and you go right neutral, you're rolling back and back and back in the handbrake, you've already moved. So okay. I know it's not far, but that could be enough to hit someone. Yeah. Especially when you've got this playground on left, you've got a kick that comes running out. Uh, that's all you need to, to run them over. Of course, the problem with the kids is you can't see them because they're so small, you yeah. can't see them out of their back. Um, right, so anything you want to go over, I know we've covered a lot there in one go, but is there anything you particularly want to go over on that? Because we're going to try that again and again. No, that, but, that, was, um, that was much nicer than I've, I mean, normally I kind of, well, whenever I've pulled off before, I've gone yeah. kind of like yeah. hopped and. It might be if you don't know that the, the picture of the plates helps a lot because you can picture in your mind the plates kind of coming together and locking and gripping. Yeah. If you get it wrong, is when the plates kind of come together, bounce off and the stall. Or if you get like, if you ever had like a kangaroo jump, when the car kind of jumps down the road. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's when the plates all go like that and they're kind of grabbing, but they can't fully grip. That's when you get the, the kangaroo. Well, then, so we're going to carry on down it, well, up this road, not down the road, going uphill. Okay. So if you want to move off, I won't say much now, I'll leave it up to you. I'll only help if I think you need any help, but otherwise it's up to you. Okay, um, so clutch, clutch in, first gear. Yeah. It's good you're talking through as well, because that makes it easier for me to, uh, to, to hear what you're doing. Check my mirrors and... What comes before that though? Um, Oh, now, oh, sorry, yeah, That's I do um, gas and then fighting point. That's important because if you look around now, by the time you've done the pedals, it could have changed and then you have to look around again. Okay, so, oh, a bit too much. That's it. And then fighting point. Now, this hill's yeah. not, that's good, not quite steep as the other one, so that's good. Okay. Because it's virtually flat almost. Yeah. I um, want to keep my feet still and yep. check the mirrors and the that's good. lines. But for now, I want so to signal and then and, and then very slowly pull my foot off the clutch. Oh, That's great. Too fast, too fast. That's good. That's fine. So we'll go to the other side of the bus and we'll pull up just before that yellow grid bin. Um, oh, okay. So the signal there is good because you don't have to, but that bus could have moved. I think the driver's in the cab. So, yeah, let's go around. I won't say much about this because it's we're not looking at this just for now. We try that little bit of gas. Just get like a feel for the speed. But if you aim for that yellow beam without hitting it, probably would. <laughs> yeah. Steering, I won't say much about it either because it's something you, you've probably looked at before, so I won't say much. So, if clutch down and then soft braking. That's good. And then what okay. though? Um, um, hand yep, brake, then good. neutral. That's it. And that's then good. Everything? Done? That's it, that's good. We're not signaling we didn't have to, but if you were signaling, you'd know how to turn it off. Because you notice before when you pull over, 
I'll show you that that's good. It went from the left, you kind of knocks it up and you flash right three times. That's what I mentioned earlier on, if you knock it like that, it says right, but it goes off after three. Okay. So if ever you take it off a little bit hard, you might knock up like that, and it'll say again, right, but if you leave that alone, that'll come off. That's fine. Yeah, so um, that's pretty good. So why would you normally not park here? We're not really looking at this today too much, but um, normally this will be a pretty disastrous place to park. <laughs> What's in front of you? The... On the side, I should say. So there's a road that's, that's going to come out. So normally this would be a rubbish place to park, but this road's really quiet. Probably nothing will come out, you know, for hours because it's so quiet around here. So it might come out now. <laughs> it's very, very rare when anyone comes out there. Okay, yeah. so let's move off again. I went so much again. Um, one thing I'll go over quickly, because this can help, is something called POSH, which you may have heard of before, but it's an acronym POSH. There's lots of acronyms used when you learn. So POSH stands for prepare, which is your feet. So you, you can call it pedals, but I think prepare is better because it's not just the pedals, it's the gear as well. Prepare, what do you think the O stands for? Mm. And this is what we do when we move off. Yep. We prepare. You could start with an L, but do it as an O. Mm. We need to look. Yep, so observations, that's, that's it. Otherwise, you'll be push. It's sort of posh, is easy to remember. So prepare, observe. Yes, that's something you may have to do, but you signal. may not. Yep, so a signal, if needed. And then the H, what do you think that is? Um, then we can go. Yep, so how do you go? What do you have to take off? Um, you pull, pull your foot off the clutch a bit more. Before that, so otherwise you'll still... Um, oh, you've put your foot, you put some gas. Yep, we also got <laughs> one needs to come off, start with an H. Otherwise you'd still, like I know what we did before. Ha oh, handbrake. That's it, that's it. <laughs> so I'll put a hand B, so I don't want the whole thing. It's hard to roll this pen, it's thick. So yeah, so if you remember that posh, it helps to remember the moving off. So it's prepare, observe, signal if needed, and then handbrake, and off you go. Okay. If you follow that, it pretty much always works. There are times you don't have to always do this, because when you get more used to it, you find you do all the one bit move like that. You kind of become natural. But posh is a good way to remember. Lots of people fail tests on this, because it's one of the first things you learn. So I like to go over this in detail. Um, a lot of people, for example, I can't show now because our car's behind. When this car's gone, I'll show you what a lot of people get wrong. You're not doing this wrong, this is good, but a lot of people do this. They signal like that, and now they're doing the pedals and you're telling everyone you're going to go and you're not going so it's very important you get the order correct otherwise you can mislead other people and it can be confusing for them so okay. if you think about posh i won't talk through now but if you want to do that on your own but think about the posh and apply that as you're moving off let's see how good that goes okay um so i want to perfect so um clutch That's it. and um and yeah, now I observe. No, now I do um, the gas and then that's the, it. That's Your first few lessons is more to remember than the end, by the way. The <laughs> first lessons are actually harder than the later ones because um, it's ever so much a lot to take in. So, uh, biting point up there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So that's the P done. And now, now we're observing. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And the blind spot. Yeah. And now we signal. Do you need to or not? Um, I don't, I don't need nope. to. So you don't have to, it's fine, but no, no problem. Okay, and no, then I hand, um, take the handbrake yep. off. That's good. Can you go there or not? Mm, that's a signal oh, comes yeah, that's off. A so a signal comes off. That's good. To begin with, it's okay if you've been slow doing things because you've got to be, you know, but normally you see that car, I've seen straight away. So okay. the signal comes off as soon as it comes up. If it's moving, why is that moving though? It's creeping a bit. The, the car? Yep. Um, what do you need to do with the clutch? So, um, it's just down, down a little too bit. Much. That's it, push down. Oh. down more than, more than. That's it. Yep. That. Okay. That's good. Okay, and then so now we're back to the P stage, you kind of go back to that, that prepare. So what comes next? Um observing yep, again. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's it's, it's okay. And can we go or not? Um so we'll wait for the Because yeah, you have fast that change, just when you say it's okay, the bus come around the bend, that's how yeah. fast it can change. Okay. Now what's going on behind us? Now there's another bus. Yeah. So if you go clutch <laughs> fully down. This is important because if you have the clutch turned for too long, it burns the clutch plates. Okay. So, unfortunately, lots of traffic appear there. <laughs> that's what it's like in Birmingham. And another bus, yeah. Okay. That's it. So, this isn't bad, it's just kind of going back to the beginning, but that's what you've got to do sometimes. When you drive more, you get so quick in doing like that, you just prepare to go really quick. 
But yeah, let's go back to the start. So okay. start with the prepare. Um, okay, so now we're a little bit of gas and the biting point that's again. Good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Just clutch it a little bit more. That's pretty good though. Cause See that sound? That's how the kind of goes down a bit. Okay. Now um, we're observing, yep. and we um, signal. We would signal, but we don't need that's to. That's it. That's good. And then we handbrake on. That's it. And we go oh, slow. Yeah, little bit. Little bit. That's it. That's okay. That's just like a fraction too low. That's fine for now. Yeah, that's good. Twenty percent straight ahead. The bus is fine. If you need a little bit of gas. And I'll pull it through just before the water car, so if you're steering quite a bit, I'm just going to drop my clutch down and then lots of steering away. And if you do um, no clutch at all for now. So when I do mine there, yours vanishes a bit. That's good. I'll pull us up, or oh, yeah, I'll do just by this curb here. I'm only doing this one so I didn't get much time to ask you to do it. So quite far left. And then get quite close. It's this evening, he's on the bend. And then to the right, that's good. That's good. Cool. That's good. For the moment, I know it's quite awkward for me. I'm doing half the bedders and you're doing half, but that will quickly change, so you're doing it all. Okay, so what are you doing now? Um, so the clutch in and yep. um, handbrake that's first. That's it, that's good. Then neutral. That's it. Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, they're putting over, we'll go over more next time, but roughly, how do you know how far from the kerb you are? How can you tell that? Um, this mirror will help. Yeah. It does, but the problem with that is when you look at the mirror, you've already hit the curb. It's quite far. Oh, yeah, no. that's pretty good. So normally that black dome, so that black dome in the middle of the windscreen there, um, where the curb is now to the right, it's probably I don't know, about sort of, it's probably about two inches from the dome, or you know, five centimetres or so to the left of the dome. Wherever the curb is, that's about you can get the curb further to the right than that. But we're not bothered about for now. You just turn it roughly. You're trying to get the curb so it sort of touches that black dome roughly when you pull over. Okay. If it touches the dome, that's as close to the curb as you can be. If ever it goes over the dome, you'll already be at the curb. So you'll feel the car going at the curb. Okay. Um, that's one of the worst things you can do, because you can do a lot of damage, you can rip the wheels and the tyres, whatever. So it's always a bit to be too wide and too close. You are on a bend as well, I say it's deceiving, because looking the forwards, it looks like miles away. You're not that far, because with the bend, yeah, for sure the door bit open. You're not, you're only a little bit away, but you're not too far. Oh, it's not okay. like you're miles and miles away. Right, so moving off again. It's up to you. Let's okay. try and keep on moving off, moving off as much as we can. So, so let's give that a go. Right, prepare. So um, we do clutch yep. and then we do um, the, the the gas a little bit. Yep. What's missing there? The one thing missing. Um, oh, sorry. Clutch that's first, it. get that set, and now if I do the. Okay. Find the biting point. That's good. Yeah. That's um, okay, now I observe. Yep. Okay. And now, um, oh, we don't, the signal, but we don't signal. And then we handbrake. That's good. Oh, this is nice and wide. What do I do? That's good. That's good. So, a little bit of gas. There's a car here behind me, okay for now. So, quite a bit of gas. Because he's turning off anyway. And then, quite a bit of gas now. You get a feel for the speed. Um, that's I've good. not changed gear before. That's fine. That's fine. That BP, I'll go over in a second. If I pull over, just follow the lamppost. So we just clutch down, steering left a little bit more. That clutch goes right yeah. down. Okay. That's it, and then soft braking. That's good. And then what do you do now? Um, handbrake first, and then that's it. the. That's one. Yep, that's good. Yep, that's good. <laughs> so that beeping, any idea what that was? It did sound a scream, but I know you didn't probably have time to look at that. Um, any time it beeps, it says on the screen what was wrong. Maybe was I meant to be in a better, a higher gear? So the handbag wasn't quite off. It was off, but it wasn't actually fully off. It's kind of sticking up about there. Okay. So even if you have it <clears throat> from like there to there, it will beep inside the parking bag. So it is an on, it's off, but it's just sticking up a bit. So you've got to make sure it's right down all the way. Obviously, if it was on, it will be struggling to move that much. But yeah, so the handbag down, that's good. The rest was good. The car behind there we're about because this road's pretty quiet. We're not bothered about going too fast for now. You wouldn't normally want to pull out in front of someone. We didn't, but you know, if someone's flying down, you wouldn't pull out in front of them. But if you slow someone down just a tiny bit for now, you've got to, because otherwise, you know, you, you don't know how to change gear yet, so that's okay. Right, so anything in particular you want to go over with that? Um, I, th I, just think, keep I think it was okay. My, I, um, I, I don't know how, why this happened, but I went a bit too fast when I started. Yeah. Why That's, was that? When your clutch was a little bit uh, quicker coming up, you might have just felt quick because you had the car in front of you. 
because he was he's pretty much the same as before but it's when your clutch comes a, bit, a little bit too quickly not much but like like that mm. could be too quick um that's when you get a bit of a lunge because the two plates kind of connect and grab and you get pulled forward quite a bit that's not too bad at all let's try another one so okay. let's see how it goes this is the same over and over again I mean, again we're used to it we'll start looking at gears in a moment we'll try and do a gear change before we finish if we can okay but um let's give that another go so um preparing yep. clutching and gear stick nice. um then we to do our feet yep so i'll gas first then nice. i always want to do the other one yeah first, it's I good you're doing that because the gas clutch is a good thing to do later on you'll see why when we do later topics so, like this. Mm, oh, just clutch down, 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 down. A bit too much. That's it. So, mm. just down a touch low, a bit lower down. There. A little bit low still. So, right, that's good about there. So, it's very, very, this car's got low points, very low down. Some cars it is normally higher, but this is very, very low. Okay, so. Okay, um, um, now we're observing. That's good. Okay, um, and we'd signal. Yep. And then we hand brake off. That's good. Yep, that's so fine. Very slowly take off the off. Did that feel better than before that one? Uh, yeah, yeah, that felt a lot better actually. Oh. That was a lot smoother, that was, you know, the clutch was smoother. So, no clutch at all now, and just a little bit of gas. I'll pull us up, um, we'll go further on past the white van actually, and we'll go and turn around a bit. Okay. So you just get a feel for the speed. I know you can't go very fast in one, but... But what we can do, I'll pull us up just after this road, because it's pretty quiet today. Is it here? So, yeah. the... Well, you can pull up, you know how to pull over. So just... Slow down a bit, and then... So, clutch. I'm only saying that because that car's, that car's approaching. Um, and then, handbrake first. And then. That's good. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's fine. So when his car in front's gone, when they just wait for him to move off, they will move off because he makes it a little bit easier. Okay. Um, that car's always parked quite wide. You see the way it's quite sticking out? Yeah. It's always on every day. <laughs> I don't wheel on that for now, but that's okay because you haven't been driving for years. So when they've gone, or well, before they go through their move, I'm just going to move off. We're just spin around in the mouth of that road over there on the right, and then we're going to pull up on the other side and just go over one gear change before we finish. Um, so, is she going to move soon or not? Is that something you can fail on passing, um, parking too far from the edge? Yeah, because I mean, as you are now, normally this would be okay if you pull over and then move off again. That's okay, but parking like that and leaving it will be too too wide because okay. it's kind of sticking out. Yeah. Uh, around here, no one's going to care because it's pretty dead and very quiet roads. That's why we come around here. But on the busy roads, you wouldn't want to do that. Not the city centre, you'd have your car towed away. <laughs> the deer will literally come and pick your car up with a crane and carry off. You might have seen that happening. If, if your mirror doesn't go over the kerb, they'll often tow your car away. Because you're too wide, you're causing obstruction. So you come back, you think your car's been stolen, it's been towed away. <laughs> um, then it costs about £200 to get you back. But anyway, I don't think they're going to move, so we'll move off now. Okay. Um, I think her mirrors fell down, isn't it? She's putting a new mirror in. Yeah. Maybe that's why she couldn't park, because she's got a new mirror. <laughs> but, um, so if you want to move off whenever you can, it's up to you. Okay. We're not rushing this, but the less time it's out, the better, because when you're doing this with the pedals, if you sit too long, do you remember what you said will happen if you sit too long on the clutch? Um, it will burn it out. Yeah, so we're not in a big rush, but how long, how long do you reckon before it starts to burn? I know we haven't mentioned this, but would it be more seconds or minutes or...? Um, oh, I think quite like quickly, probably yep. seconds. That's it. So about five seconds is so So like there, looking. You want to ideally have gone by about now, which we can't because they're turning around. But yeah. Okay. So you don't have to rush it, but just be aware you can't do too long because otherwise you will start to burn. Okay. Um, and then you get a whole lot of smell in the car, fish burning. Okay. Right, so whenever it's good, we'll carry on. But this is all up to you now. I'm not going to say anything um, unless something. And, something and comes up. sorry, when it's burning, that's just when it's lifted off. That's um, when you have it too long. Yeah, so okay. if you have it like if you have it like that, and you sit for like a minute, you, mm -hmm. your clutch will just blow, and that's a very expensive repair because the clutch is right in the heart of the engine. So you've got to strip the engine out to do that, which you don't really want to do. Tight, you know, five, six hundred pounds at least to do that. Okay. So let's avoid that. Right, so let's um, let's give that a go. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Okay. Oh, car. Right, um, I'll just so signal. Just, just, you mustn't signal so they've gone, because otherwise you sound I'm going to pull off in front of you. So you must wait till they've got to talk past you, oh, then okay. you can go. Right. right. Okay. Just down a touch, a little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit down. That's it. That's it. Can we still go? You know the blind spot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, it. okay. That's yeah. good. And then with the bus, if you didn't know pedals, I'll just take over the pedals for now. Just have a bus over here. Okay. Actually, if I do a handbrake on, 
and then the sinner comes off and then back into neutral yeah the reason for that is imagine if a car comes up behind you no one there now but if you imagine that white van in front of you if you're about to pass this blue one and then they signal what could that make you do if you see them signaling imagine like you're driving down here at 30 in that car and that van just signals when you're passing this blue car what's um, it going to make us do you will slow down yeah that's it so you, might, you didn't dare but you could make people slow down so if they're way back like right around the bend which is not where the bus is just coming out the road there you would signal and go no but you mustn't signal about He's going to play now, but you wouldn't signal if the bus is about to pass on there because you make some break. Um, we don't mention the test too much, but that's another common thing people find on is the signal, then to take it off, it's too late. You've already said you're going to go. So, normally, you indicate go within about three seconds at the most. If you haven't gone within three seconds of signaling, you shouldn't be signaling. There are exceptions as ever, but for the, for the moment, there aren't any. Okay, so we're going to move off whenever it's good. Moving off is not as easy as it looks, it's, it's yeah. one of the hardest things you learn, it's one of the first thing you learn, but it's um. It's, it's not that easy. It's quite tricky, yeah. Yeah, because there's different ways, different methods. Okay, so whenever you're ready, let's go. Clutch in. Let's get gas. And like that. Just clutch a little bit higher. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's smooth. So we'll pull it just well. Oh, mm, just after the blue car, the little pale blue car, that'll be good. This one? No. Just that one further on the old Peugeot, the little oh, silver yeah. blue. Oh, yeah, okay. The steering's not that good. No, <laughs> but what is it? I'll pull us up between these. If you didn't know pedals for now, you just still left quite a bit. That's it, but then no pedals. And then loads of turns to the right. That's it. Loads of dancing flowers in that car. Yeah. So, let's go back a little bit. Now, it's going to spin us around in the mouth of that road over there. This is something you wouldn't normally do. You can, but you wouldn't normally do this. But just to get his face in the other way. Okay, so if you turn the wheel right all the way, I'm just going to turn around so we go down the hill. You've got to be careful here because people come flying down these roads. Just going to roll around, check what's going on behind. Should I be. I don't really just get loads to the right. Oh, more. That's it. Just all come back out there. And then is anyone behind us? Or to the side of us? Um, I can't actually no, see it. That's right. So, loads of left. Just going to pull us up just for this bit of grass. Okay. That's good then. <coughs> so, what we do is we won't do the gear change today, we'll do the downhill <coughs> moving off instead, because that'll be more beneficial than changing gear. Okay. So, you're going to go handbrake and neutral. Because now that we did the two kinds you haven't done before, you've done the flat before, but I don't think you've done uphill, but you haven't done uphill. Have you done downhill moving off? No. So how do you think it'll be different moving off downhill? Um, so here we shouldn't, we wouldn't need a lot of power at all. Yep, really. that's it. So it's a totally different method which is actually much, much easier. Now with a handbrake, if you turn it off, you just go straight away. So before we do this one, we use the foot brake instead. So you can kind of gradually ease off the brake, roll to a gentle start. And then you can get your car moving well. And it's for looking back later on when you did a lot of roundabouts. You probably haven't done roundabouts yet. No. Things like that. And did you, did le you said you did left turns there, didn't you? Yeah. Just left. So yeah. <laughs> if you do a left turn like here, you come out of the road, you'd be rolling, rolling, as we're going to do now. So if you do brake all the way down, this gets you a good feel for the brake. Well. Clutch down all the way. Over into first. So this is not preparing, but it'd be different to people. The handbrake comes off. Now all you do is you look all around. Now this one may be left as well because what is on the left there that we could put up to see or that could bother us? Um, the, the road yeah. behind us. So yeah. this one, you probably would like that, that woman, you would check your left plans as well. Okay. Um, you don't have to always, but this one she would. Um, and all you do is, do we need, so we've done prepare, we've done observation, do we need to signal? Um, no. No, so we just break off all the way. And then once you get moving, then your clutch comes up. You don't have to have gas when you're going down a hill because the hill provides the power. Okay. But you must get your clutch up fairly soon, so by the time you pass the drain cover, at the latest, your clutch must be up by then. Oh, yeah. That's it. If you roll too far with your down, then lift it up, you get a huge stall because you've gone too fast for the gear, you have a massive bang on the stall. So can we still go? Um, if you want to move in the road. I'll just wait for this one and That's good. park crossing. And then I think we can go. Yep. So we just break off gently. Okay, and, and then, and then clutch, clutch fairly steady. quickly, much quicker than normal. That's oh, it. Oh, That's okay. what I was So now it pulls down a hill. So normally that would have stored you, but down a hill, it doesn't. 
So it's a little bit a lot easier downhill. Oh. It's a little bit of gas now. Yeah, that was that was a bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> downhill you can sort of it's virtually impossible. So straight ahead, quite a bit of gas. You notice that man in the car on the right though is putting his belt on, it's too late. <laughs> Once you moved off, it's too late to put your belt on. So if you signal left that man behind, then just pull us over somewhere, anywhere around the bin, just before the glass will be good. The glass will be good. That's good. That's it. Sorry, that's I fine. tried to break. I that's tried to that's do it good. quicker. That's, um, that's good. And then, for the moment, speed doesn't matter. Speed will come with time, but you just so you know you don't always have to do that slow. In case you think you've got to do it slow, you do eventually get quicker and quicker. Well, so, if you want to turn the engine off just for now, just tap that button once. For the moment, that's all we're going to really do. Because um, yeah, I mean, this one, like we said, just to find out what you know, what you don't know. I know you had an uphill moving off, so what do you think about that? Um, it was, yeah, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit trickier, but um, yeah. I think that was a lot smoother than I've still. It was a yeah. lot smoother than I've ever done it before. Ideally, you would start in a flat road around here. The the one which flat, it's kind of a pull down because it's all very hilly around here. Um, so there's only three kinds of moving off: there's uphill, flat, and downhill. So the flat one is when you do what you've done before. You know, the average kind of moving off. The uphill, what do you do differently? Um, we do, now we want a bit more power and the yeah. clutch a bit higher. Yeah, that's it. And the downhill, we need that once, but that was the one where you hold your feet down yeah. and then you yeah. roll. So you let the hill do the work for you. There's no point in accelerating down a hill. You just be wasting your energy, wasting the car's power. So that's still pretty good. Um, we didn't get to do the gears, we'll do that next time, that doesn't matter, because it's important to get them moving off quick. Otherwise, if you start doing gears and you can't move off properly, it all goes wrong. Is so there anything else you want to go over? Um, I don't know, we've kind of blasted your information there, it's a lot to remember. No, I'm, but, um, I'm happy, it's, yeah. it's good, yeah. But it gets easier than what you do. So next time the aim is going to be, what would you like to achieve on the next one? Because we always have a target set for the next lesson. So what would you like to be able to do at the end of the next one that you can't do on this one? Um, maybe change gear. I yeah. haven't changed gear at all yet, so yeah. that would be good. No, um, no, you ne never have changed them. That's yeah. rare, because I had, had you turn left if you haven't changed gear. You would have been yeah. limping down the road, wouldn't you? Yeah, <laughs> crawling down I, the road. I, I don't think my previous instructor yeah. was very good, um, so I've not. Yeah. I mean, you can you can do that, but it's just strange we've not changed gear when you before doing corners, because yeah, I don't know how you do that. But yeah. Um, so yeah, what else would you like to do? We we'll do that, but we've got two hours next time, so we can do. We can um, probably do more than that. Maybe maybe some turning as well, like left and yeah. right. So I'll show you That's my it. my left. Yeah. <laughs> what you need to be able to do there well before you can turn. We've looked at it briefly today, what do you need to be able to do really well? So steering is going yeah. to be good. What else as well would you need? Um, Otherwise you'd be going flying off the road. You, um, sort of your control of the uh, gas? Yep, yeah, so the braking, braking gas control speed. So braking, slowing down and then doing the corner. Because there's like an order you have to do which is moving off, braking, well moving off gear changes because you get some speed up then braking, then corners. Because if you do corners before you do much braking, it's horrible because she don't know how to brake for the corner. But yeah, that's pretty good. So I'll drive you back now and we'll make that the only fixed time to get those things done. Thank you.